Okay. Oh, why do I look so shiny? No, we gotta fix that. Lord have mercy. Okay. Better, but for some reason I look orange. Uh, uh. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh no no. Oh no no. Don't do it to me. Oh no no. Oh no no. Don't do it to me. Oh no no. Oh no no. Don't do it to me. Hi you guys. So today I am doing another product empties video. I think this is number four. Um, I don't really remember. It might be four or five. I kind of lost count already. Um, but anyway, this is all gather up from March because as some of y'all may know, I did Beauty March Madness for myself and the No Buy March. Um, just so I can do, um, just get through all my makeup, see what's old, see what's not old. I explained it all in my updates video. Um, it wasn't really like a big, humongous extravaganza like beauty miss was um it was more just for me to do some spring cleaning so yeah hence why i didn't have a lot of videos and plus half of march i was um i was going through a lot of stuff in march because as some of y'all may know um it, i'm not gonna repeat it but some of y'all know why and i was sick like i am now half the time in march so not a lot was going on on my channel so yeah so anyway this is accumulated from March and baby mama got a lot of trash so without further ado let's go ahead and dig through my trash shall we okay so the first thing I would know I wouldn't know if you would consider these empties but I've kind of had these brushes for a while so I figured it was time to kind of let them go because they started shedding on me um these are the elf professional eyeshadow brushes this one is the eye shape with a, a eye shading this is the eyeshadow brush it's just a really basic shader brush um this held up pretty well until they started shedding on me it's been through several different washes i've had this for i think about two or three years now so it's held up pretty good and then this one is the defining one which is just like an angled one great for if you kind of just want a nice precise line um these were only like a dollar so really for them to be a dollar and go this long um pretty good um i really do like these a lot i haven't repurchased them yet just because i have so many different eyeshadow brushes so me losing a couple is not the end of the world to me so we really have to talk about these do we really these are the daily brush cleansers i've gone through three of them already y'all know how i feel about these i absolutely love love these they are only three dollars and they clean my brushes so well especially on them days where I really don't feel like cleaning them which I know I have to clean my brushes but I really don't feel like it um I do want to try the BH Cosmetics one just because it's a little bit bigger so I might try that one but for now I've really been liking these okay so mama went through a whole bunch of makeup removers um so yeah so the first two are the original Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes. These are the ones that come for the um, already packed or whatever. These are the refiller packs, I guess you could say. Um, I already have one on deck already, and I think I have a backup already. So I absolutely love Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. I just feel like they take them just take all my makeup off without the headache and all the scrubbing that is involved. But y'all also know I do love my cleansing oil. So I um, take my makeup off with my cleansing oil. And I kind of use this as like spot cleaning for my brushes. But sometimes when I really don't feel like doing anything, like if I'm really sick like I am now, um, I'll probably just use these and just go to bed. So I went through the pink grapefruit cleansing um, wipes. These are for acne prone skin. I love these. They smell like pink grapefruit. And lately I've been into citrusy scents for some reason. Which right now citru citrusy scents do not sound good to me right now. Just because how my stomach is acting. And so ugh, just thinking about it is kind of making me. Ugh. Anyway I do like these a lot. And I just feel like it gives a nice clean too as well. So. Yeah. 
still went through the Deep Clean Oil-Free Makeup Remover. I like these as well. I just like all Neutrogena makeup wipes. Like, I just think they're nice quality as far as the drugstore is concerned. And they get all the makeup off. So, I do like these a lot. I guess... I also went through the Olay Fresh Effects Everything Off. This is their new makeup removing wipes. These are the Deluxe makeup removing wipes. These are the ones that had honeysuckle and white tea in it. Um, I did like these. I did like these, but I don't like them enough to repurchase them, if that makes any sense. Um, there's something in the Olay line that I would definitely repurchase, but these are not it. Of course, I went through my L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. This is my crack. Okay, I absolutely love this. My skin loves it. Um, I do have a review coming probably tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, but um, I do have a review that's going to be up soon on the Ole. The, oh, the Ole. The L'Oreal Pore Vanisher Cream. I have a review coming out. It's part of the Youth Code line. Um, you have to wait to that video to film my response on that. But I just know I love the texture perfector. This is the serum and this is the moisturizer. I already have one in my bathroom and when I go to the store, I am when I do my drugstore run, I guess you could say, when I do my drugstore run, I'm going to be picking these up. So, get ready to see these in a haul again. So, I'm throwing this away because it is super old and it will not pump and I think the blush has hardened so it's really old. Um, this is the ELF HD blush. This is apparently a dupe to the Makeup Forever HD blush. But this one is in the shade Diva which was just a nice fuchsia pink. That's all I can say. Kind of like a Radiant Orchid pink. Um... Because I, I looked on Sephora's website at the Pantone color of the year and what they thought as um, Radiant Orchid. And this was kind of, I seen a color that was similar to this. So I was like, okay, I'm in the ballpark. Woohoo. Yeah, I do like this. This was only $3. Um, I'm just sad that it hardened before I can get a chance to use it, use it. But I have two other ones that are working well. So, um, three this way. Now, if you've seen my Mardi Gras inspired makeup tutorial, I try to do a liner thing with the gel with my Mica Beauty Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner. Y'all know how I felt about it, but as I was using it, it dried up on me, son. Like, it dried up on me. I was not prepared. I, it just dried up on me. I was so sad when it went away. But luckily, I had thought ahead and purchased the Maybelline um, Studio Gel Eyeliner. Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. Which is a great dupe for this. So, I was okay. Okay, so... Yeah. Um, but this is all that dried out on me. This was really good. Um, it's about time to throw it away because... I got this in the last year's February Ipsy bag, so it's old. Olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil from Goya, which is a Latin America brand. And yeah, um, this is the cold press version. It doesn't really matter. I use I use um extra virgin olive oil on my hair as you can see for the first time ever I dyed my hair yes I dyed my hair a blonde ish color but it came out the color that I wanted it because I wanted it to be um, lighter as compared to my uh, my natural hair so I wanted it to be lighter so it's like a light reddish brown type of color I really like it and there's some streaks of blonde in it so it's perfect and I, I like it a lot um so with that being said since I kinda went lighter you know bleach was involved um so I gotta take care of my locks a little bit better I did lose one though like I lost one here but and uh, no harm no foul it'll grow back but anyway so I use this to moisturize my hair just so I don't have um, dry um, locks because when you dye your hair a lot, your hair tends to get dry. So I don't want that. So this is a nice leave-in conditioner and I've been using it for like leave-in conditioner, heart oil treatment, the whole shebang. And there's so many benefits for olive oil that it cannot fit in this video. So moving on. I used up my Kosher Nature Noya Lip Balm in Vanilla. We got this in our August ipsy bag last year this was my all-time favorite favorite lip balm out of the whole thing matter of fact that was my favorite thing out of the whole august bag was this noya lip balm it was vanilla it 
smelled like vanilla, it tasted like vanilla, and I think this is 100% natural or organic. I'm not sure. I think it's something natural. It's some to the effect of it's natural, okay? So you can eat it, and it was just like, oh, I love this so much. And yes, I am the first girl in history to go through a whole thing of chapstick. Yeah, you know, girls do not finish chapstick at all. Like we, we by the time we even think about the chapstick is either gone or we just buy another one. So yes, I'm the first girl in history to buy to use up a whole chapstick. I'm proud of myself. Um, I don't know if I am the first girl in history. I'm just claiming it. I do like this a lot, but y'all know I love my EOS lip balm, um, in the, the vanilla scent as well. So sad to see this go. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. I got this in the shade brown. Um, this is really old because um, I remember when I first, this was the first Clump Crusher that I ever bought. And I know this because I thought I reached for a black until I got home and I seen that it said brown. Which, brown is fine too. It gives you more of a, a natural effect. But, you know, mama loves her some lashes. So... I needed them to be nice, dark, and voluptuous. So, yeah, and it gave me all of that. It didn't clump my lashes at all. Sometimes you'll see, you'll catch me with brown mascara. But, um, most of the time it's usually black. Um, I found a new love of mine that I'm going to mention in a current favorites video. But I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's all a secret. Mwahaha! <laughs> anyway, this is the Clump Crusher Mascara. This was in the non-waterproof formula. Oh, I need some water. Someone told me that warm water kind of helps, um, or room temperature water, but I hate room temperature or just warm water. I have to have it ice cold. Uh, I don't know. Another thing that I'm sad that is gone, but will definitely be repurchased later on in the future, is the Revitalift Miracle Blur by L'Oreal. This is the oil-free version, which means this is the silicone version. They do have a non-silicone version, which has SPF of, I think, either 25 or 30. And it just came out with a hydrating one. So, those are great for my dry skin people or um, my more mature skin people. Um, but I love silicone um, primers. I don't know why. I feel like they're actually doing something besides like a powdery type of I don't know. I like silicone primers a lot. I, I like them better than like say like a like a creamy or like I don't know. I just like silicone and this I just like how it feels on my skin and I really do like this a lot and I definitely will be repurchasing this. I think I kind of like I want to venture into the Revital Lift line but I'm trying to wait till like my 20th birthday or like my 21st birthday um but I'm starting kind of like my anti-aging regimen little bit at a time because you know you, they're supposed to, you're supposed to start early but anyway who remembers this bad boy? What? This thing is so old. This is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier in Deep. This is super old because the BB um, logo is off. Okay, it is so old. Um, it was apparently supposed to be a primer, perfects, hydrates, and correct. I did not like this. I wanted so much to like this. I hated it. I felt like it didn't do nothing. Um, it just It was just like a white cream that didn't even even out my skin tone and the fact that deep I had to go with deep in order for it to fit me concerns me um but I don't know I didn't particularly care for it it was not my cup of tea um eh. move this I definitely had to let go because this is super old like more than three four months old I think like a year so I had to let this go um this is the Revlon Color Stay Concealer in medium deep um no just deep. This is just in deep. Um, so if you're kind of like a really rich deep tone, um, this would probably be a great highlight underneath your eye. Um, but for me, it was more like a spot concealer um, for me. But I did like this though. I like the Revlon Color Stay to the extent. Like I like the foundation, but not that much. I don't know. I feel like the color ranges are hit and miss. Like I am toast in the line but then I can be caramel or caramel it's caramel I don't know why I said caramel went through two different deodorants um one is secret and one is dove and before you ask yes I do have deodorant still I still have my um 
Old Spice deodorant, which I talked about in a favorites video. Yes, I use Old Spice. Um, I like the Wolf. I think it's Wolfgang. I think it's what it's, that, I think that's what it's called. I think it's called Wolfgang. That one literally smells like a girl. Like I really don't understand why you men have that scent, but you smell like a female. And I really like the deodorant. So yeah, and I also have another secret deodorant. But anyway, this is the Powder Fresh scent. I've had this for years. Uh, as you can see, the packaging is like terrible. But I've had this for eons and eons, and it's it's gone. Powder. I like the powder fresh scent from Secrets. I don't know. I like them a lot. Um, every once in a while, you'll see me gravitate towards something else. But anyway, I got um this one is the Dove Clear Tone um deodorant. This one was supposedly supposed to restore your underarms. Like you get dark down there or dark when you shave, and then like it's supposed to lighten it. I didn't see none of that happening, so. And but I did like the scent though. This was a sheer tone one. This one was in it had cussing and keep going and sunflower seed extract. This one was a really nice scent though. I did I really like Dove scents. They're just nice and eerie. I like it. But I didn't see it lighten or making a difference in my underarm at all, so I wouldn't repurchase it for the claim. I'll probably repurchase it for the smell, but I probably would never repurchase this, but anyway. Through another toner of mine, this is the Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning Toner in the blue um, liquid. There is an orange one for normal skin people. This one is for sensitive skin people. I talked about this. I showed you how I use it in my skincare routine, which I am going to be doing an updates video on because I did add some new... Woo, my leg hurt. <laughs> I did add some new products to my skincare routine. Um, and I have a couple of reviews to show you on some stuff that I did um, when I reviewed on it. When I did reviews in March. If you're wondering where all my Review Me Marches are, follow me on Tumblr. Um, I did a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of reviews on... I do a lot of reviews on Tumblr. If um, It's kind of like a blog for me. So... Yeah, I'm trying to get back into blogging. I used to blog a lot on Tumblr, but then I stopped and I deleted the account and everything. And then I just brought it back to life not too long ago. And I post, like, pictures of the day, uh, my makeup, like, all my makeup details that you see on Instagram. I'll post them on Tumblr sometimes. And I just reviewed some stuff up there. So if you want to see a review on some of the stuff that I had bought in March and reviewed it, definitely go hit that up. Um, I do kind of like reviews kind of like every Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. But anyway... I like this a lot. I repurchase it all the time. So, this is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Body Wash in the Mango and Papaya scent. My boyfriend absolutely loves this. Um, he every time, every time I bring a shower gel that he likes, it's gone. Okay, I bought a new shower gel not too long ago from um the body shop. I bought the olive scent. I found out later on that he was using it. And I was like, what in the hell? Buy your own body wash. Gosh. And he likes this one a lot when I bring this out. Um, it's usually gone. Um, and I'll, he just uses my shower gel. When it smells, if it doesn't smell like a girl, I guess you could say, he'll use it. But anyway, but this a lot. My boyfriend likes it a lot, so... I guess this is a really good product if your boyfriend ends up picking it up and washing it too. I went through another polish remover. This is from CVS. I don't get anything fancy. I don't see the point in getting anything fancy as far as a nail polish remover. As long as it gets my freaking nail polish off, I'm straight. Um, as long as it gets my nail polish off, I'm straight. Um, this is the strengthening one, which means this is the non-acetone one. I don't particularly care for non-acetone, but non-acetone nail polishes are... Not, nail polish remover is actually better for your nails just because it, it helps to keep the nourish the nourishment of them instead of acetone, which kind of strips it. It's kind of... I don't know. But anyway, I like... I, like, I just pick up any random kind of like nail polish remover. I am super sad that this is gone. Like, you don't understand the depression of this. This is my black raspberry vanilla shower gel from Bath and Body Works. 
Oh, I'm so sad to see this go. Like, you don't understand. Like, my sprays are almost on the last leg in the lotion, but I just love this scent so, so much. It was my favorite scent um, out of the whole signature collection besides warm vanilla sugar, which is my signature. Um, but... I just love this scent. This is the perfect transition from winter to spring just because it still had that warmth from the vanilla but yet that fruitiness from the black raspberry. I, uh, I'm so sad to see this go. I definitely will be repurchasing this very, very soon. Like, um, Next thing is the Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. Yes, I am done with this. I love this. I mentioned it in several 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 videos um you should have seen me my grandma was like I, in the morning i was trying to get the rest of it out but it wouldn't come out and my grandma was like throw it away Th throw it away so i had to throw it away and the last thing is actually a foodie it is the um celestial sleepy time extra tea you know how i love my sleepy time tea i think i did I think I had one that was empty in one of my empties videos, but I'm not sure. It was the vanilla one. But this is the one with extra. I actually put two in the thing, so I kind of, as soon as I finished drinking it and laid my head back down on the pillow, it's like literally lights out. No one talked to me till in the morning. So, I do love the teas. I am a big tea drinker, but y'all know I'm more of a coffee fanatic as some of y'all may have seen me in starbucks one day yes i remember you <laughs> but i am a big tea drinker but mostly coffee but i do like teas okay so that is the end of my product empties video um yeah so that was it I know it was a lot, okay, I understand, but of course I had to do some spring cleaning, so a lot of this is more like spring cleaning, um, and I'm still doing spring cleaning as we speak, just to make room for some of the um, new stuff that I'm going to go be going on a journey for, and there's a wasp near my window. I am definitely afraid of wasp, like it's sad. Yeah, so... That is the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because now I am uploading daily. Woo! I am uploading daily now, so yeah, now you really have to watch out for my channel. So I don't really have a specific day anymore. Um, I'm just going to upload very randomly daily. Um, sometimes I might upload twice a day or just, I don't know. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more fun videos like this daily. So, yeah, and if you're wondering if I have a life outside of YouTube, I definitely do. Go ahead and follow all my social media sites down below. If you are interested in reviews, go ahead and follow my Tumblr and or Instagram. Um, if you're interested in just randomness, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to see more updates about this channel as far as giveaways and... Um, what's going on um what am i going to show and, and sneak peeks and everything follow my um cc hearts beauty facebook page and like it and also go ahead and follow me on vine um because i do kind of like sneak peeks like i did for my beauty scenario tag which if you haven't seen go ahead and check that out i'll leave the link down below if you're on yeah um other than that that's all i have to tell you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye